in the beginning, there was nothing. And then God created Chuck Norris. And Chuck Norris, roundhouse, kicked nothing uh, and told it, get a job. That joke applies to today's guest as well. This guy is a real-life Captain America. He's a former UFC fighter, third-degree black belt, prolific entrepreneur. Uh, entrepreneur. Uh, he is a cultural commentator, history channel host, stunt coordinator, self-described gun enthusiast. He makes most of us as guys look bad, and I don't like it. He's the kind of guy who could fight against a grizzly bear and probably would and then win. Um, and then they probably cut it up and sear it, uh, you know, over a, a fire that he he made himself, uh, you know, chopping down the, the logs with his bare hands. One of his hobbies is exterminating uh, feral hogs from a helicopter. I know that might sound weird unless you live in the south or in Texas. It is a great sport. He recently opened a K-12 uh, Acton Academy, full blown pirate ship, cannons, all of it. Um, most of us run from gunfire. He doesn't. After his career as an MMA fighter, he enlisted in the Army Special Forces, where he served as a sniper. He deployed several times during Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom. His military uniform has five rows of awards, including a Bronze Star. He was a Ranger. Those are just some of the accomplishments, you know, in his 17-year military history. Even in his post-military career, he's a certified Chuck Norris. Uh, he just got back from Afghanistan, where he aided non-governmental organizations in rescuing Americans. In a recent interview, he said it was a landscape and a battlefield that was something I had never experienced before. It was absolute mayhem. He's the perfect example of what Americans can become. He is one of the more optimistic guys I have talked to in a long time. So next time a frail self-proclaimed communist brags about the coming revolution, find comfort in the fact that he and Americans like him will be the first ones to defend freedom today. We have Tim Kennedy, 